coverage you can count on. Channel 3 Eyewitness News, live at 5.30. Artists across the country want their business to succeed, but with the ongoing pandemic, it's much easier said than done. Thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Latrice Curry. However, the Four Bridges Arts Festival was a way that people could get their work out to others. Channel 3's Angela Kim joins us now live in the studio with more on this. And Angela, tell us, how did the festival go? Hey guys, well, you may remember us telling you about this a while back. The festival had to take a new approach this year to keep people safe. And I spoke to a couple of artists to see if the new festival is helping them stay afloat. Michael Brady became an artist five years ago, but looking back, he would have never expected his career to be affected by COVID-19. It was selling real steadily uh, right up until we got into March, and then, uh, boy, it just, it's just dropped off tremendously. But Brady still grabs his brushes every day, and one reason was for this year's Four Bridges Art Festival. A lot of the times it helps as an artist just to be able to say you've been in something, uh, and it helps your credibility for the next event. Brady and several other artists got to display their work virtually this year. Event director Sarah Moore says that this year's new method was a success. The virtual app was downloaded about 2,000 times. Having any sort of success really was success to us. Another local artist, Carrie Pendergrass, says that having it virtually still had an effect on her business. It's not been overall successful for me the way that a festival would, um, but I kind of feel like the word is still getting out. You kind of got to see it in person to decide you're going to spend that much money for it. But both artists and more agree that it was still a great way to get the word out so they could keep creating art day by day. Not every artist sold something and not every one of our patrons used the app, but for us, this experiment went very well. I we hope uh, everybody's so bored with uh, the other things that uh, reruns on TV that maybe they'll watch a little more of the art. And more told me that the next step is just hoping the festival will be in person in 2021. However, even if it is, she still plans to keep this virtual app for anyone who wants to use it. In the studio, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.